Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to create a multi-vendor e-commerce website using Morphis. And by multi-vendor I mean people can come up on your website, they can register as vendor or sellers, they can sell their products and you will get a commission based on each sale. You can set a commission on percentage base or you can set a fixed price for your commission. And this is the theme that we will be using in this video. This is very reliable and easy to use and easy to customize. This can be customized using Elementor. This is compatible with WooCommerce and other multi-vendor plugins like Dukan, WC Marketplace and so on. And in the first phase we will create a simple e-commerce website. So you can learn how you can create an e-commerce website and then we will add multi-vendor functionalities. So if you need a simple e-commerce website you can watch this video and if you need a multi-vendor website you will be able to do it as well. And before creating the website, let me show you a quick demo of the website that we will be creating in this video so that you can get an idea. So this is the website that we will be creating in this video. Let me just refresh this. So the first thing you can notice is this top bar and we also get this for email subscription. So you can close this. And then we have a top bar with contact details and this with a language switcher and a currency switcher. Then obviously a logo, a powerful search bar, this is basically an AJAX bar and we'll, if I type something this will auto detect the product. Let's try one, so search for a product like this one, so you can see this will show me the product that have black in it. And this is how AJAX works and uh, you can also filter this with specific categories, then my account page, wish list, and cart. And this is a category menu as you can see this is a mega menu where you can display multiple products with their categories and so on. This is also a menu with mega menu style, pages, blog pages, elements and so on. So basically here you can put your product categories and here you can display your main menu. And this is a slider as you can see if I switch to this one, men's clothing and women's clothing so obviously you can put your own images and your own categories and text let's scroll down we have this section and then some feature categories so basically these are the product categories this will open up a single product category this is also a slider by the way and then we have this section where we can display your main categories then we have top review products latest products and this is also switchable like these and for the products you can open a quick view like this where a customer can learn more about the product colors variations and so on they can even share this product from here and product can be added to cart from this can be compare and can be added to wish list then we have some top brands and uh, latest news like blog posts another slider these are reviews so you can see the theme is very well organized and then we have newsletter section and a footer. Now this is one of the home pages. There are multiple demos available for the home page, multiple demos available for the footer and so on. And by going to the link in the description you can explore all these pages for the home page, for the shop pages and so on. And now let me show you how you can get this theme and how you can set this up and then how you can add the multi vendor functionality. I will not cover everything in detail, I'll just give you an idea that how you can set up the theme and how you can get the demo data that you can customize, how you can add a multi-vendor functionality using a free plugin and then you can customize this website using Elementor. I have lots of videos about Elementor and Wolfis where you can learn about how you can customize this theme. And now for creating and making any type of website you will need to have a domain and hosting. Basically domain is your website name like this one and hosting is an online storage where your website files will be stored. So to get a domain and hosting just go to the link in the description and uh, you will get redirected to this page. This is hosting or hosting which is very reliable and affordable. So here you can go to hostings and you can choose the hosting based on your needs. So if you need a web hosting you can choose this one. If you only need a website builder from them you can use this hosting. You can use cloud hosting and Wolfis hosting. Now I will recommend you to use Wolfis hosting. Because the website I showed you is based on Wolfis, so you can get a Wolfis hosting. Just click on this and here you can see Wolfis hosting built for speed and you can learn more about this and then you can see the plans. So this is for a single Wolfis website with this price and these are the features that you will get. Now I will recommend you to use this plan because in all these three plans you will also get a free SSL, a free domain for one year and unlimited bandwidth. So select the package that you need and then click on it to cut. And this will take you to the cart page where you can select this for one month 
12 months 24 or 48 months so the more time you choose the more discount you will get and here you can see the regular price is 432 and uh, if you choose this then you can scroll down here you can just create an account or you can log in with your facebook or google select your payment method and this is the overview so you can see the total price here is just 143 so in 143 you will get this hosting and a domain for 4 years so just put in your details and then click on submit secure payment and after that you will get a domain and hosting and once you pay for the hosting that will take you to its dashboard which will look like this and after that you can set up your hosting and your domain so here i have a premium hosting and this is the domain name so i'll click on setup to set this up we'll click start now and this will ask you a few questions like i'm creating it for myself creating for someone else or i already have a website so here you can choose the options that you need i'm creating it for myself and i am building it myself i'm hiring a developer so i'll choose this one and what type of website we need so i'll choose online store or a blog or a business so you can just skip this because we are building this from scratch and here we will choose create a new website because we are creating this website from start and if you already have a wordpress website you can migrate using hosting also so let's select this and here they will recommend you some platforms like wordpress hosting a website builder and we will choose wordpress and create login details for your wordpress account so this is now installing wordpress so for that you can choose a language then you can write your admin email and admin password so i'll write a password here and then we'll click continue and this will also suggest you to add some plugins but we will do this later so skip these are some recommended themes you can scroll down you can skip this and then you can choose your domain if you have a domain name because this will also give you a free domain so select your domain and click select and this has been selected now you can scroll down and you can choose your country this is for a client so i'll choose france and uh, this is personal let's go to next step and here we will put up some details and after writing these details let's go to next step now we will choose date of birth so and then we'll finish registration and that's it now let's click on finish setup and this will start the setup so let's wait for this and now you can edit your website or you can go to control panel to manage everything of your website like databases files subdomains and so on so let's click on edit website and this will take us to the wordpress dashboard let's close this and we will click this to back to the dashboard okay now we have this post we will delete this also and we will delete all the pages the plugins because we are creating this website from start so let's go to plugins and we will deactivate all of these and we'll go to appearance and let's also delete these two themes we will keep only one theme at a time so this is the one and now let's upload the theme that we need for creating the multi vendor e-commerce store and to get the demo that i showed you so to get the theme you can follow the link in the description which will take you to this page here you can see press smart this is the theme that we will be using this is the price and if you scroll down you will learn more about this theme that it have some demos available elemental compatible and uh, mobile view and mega menu and so on so to get this theme you can just click on add to cart and item added to cart then you can go to checkout and then select a payment method so you can pay with visa mastercard and paypal or screen i'll choose mastercard we'll put my details and i'll click pay securely And you can see payment complete you can go to downloads page to download this theme or you can scroll down and you will find this theme so just download this and this will start downloading and in the meanwhile let's also download its purchase code so for that we can go to downloads page and uh, we'll click on this arrow in the front of the theme and we'll click on license code this is the purchase code that we will need for the theme activation so let's download this and that's it now we can upload this theme to our office so before that we will need to extract this so let's open up this file to extract the theme so this is the documentation licensing plugins and we need these two themes pressmart and pressmart child so let's upload both of these to our office 
so I extracted both the files and now we will upload one by one so let's go to our dashboard we will go to appearance themes click add new upload theme choose file and we'll select this theme press smart this is the main theme install now and let's also upload the child theme so we'll go to themes add new upload and this time we'll choose child theme install now and now we can activate this one so now we have successfully installed and uploaded the theme and after activating the theme you will get this notification press smart theme is not activated so we need to activate this for this you can just click on activate now and here we will put the purchase code that we just downloaded so let's open that this is the purchase code let's copy this and we'll paste it here then activate theme purchase code successfully activated let's click ok now the theme is activated and uh, let's go back to appearance to see the notification here this is for installing plugins that are required for running this theme so we will click on begin installing plugins and then we'll select all and we'll choose install apply and this will start installing plugins one by one now let's go back to plugin installer we'll select all and we'll choose activate apply and that's it this plugin is now activated we can go back to our dashboard and now we have installed the theme in all the required plugins but still if I visit this website and there is nothing special we just have the header no menu and just this post so let's see how we can set up that demo data and then how we can customize that so let's go back to our dashboard and here go to fresh smart and you will see demo import click on that and here you can scroll down and this will show you please read before importing so make sure you meet all these requirements and then choose the demo that you want to import so we need this demo so i'll hold mouse here and then I'll click on import and here you can select the content that you want to import and you can import one by one or you can select all and you can click on install demo then click ok this will start importing the demo content so let's wait for this import process done so let's click ok and now let's check this website this was the previous and now if i refresh this you can notice we got all the data so these are the categories the menu also this pop-up the slider and all the products now these are missing images because those were copyrighted but we can upload our own images we can upload our own products and now as i said we will be making a multi-vendor website so let's convert this to a multi-vendor website and for that we will use a simple free plugin not that simple but let's go to our dashboard and uh, we will go to plugins add new and we'll search for dukan and this is the plugin based to commerce multi-vendor marketplace solution just install and activate this And once you activate the plugin, this will take you to its wizard where you can click on let's go to set this up. And these are the details that are required. So this will be the store URL which is store and this is fine. And shipping fee reception. So we will choose vendor here. For the pick speed, we will also choose vendor. This is for Google Map API if you want to display Google Map. And uh, for the Map API, you can choose Google Map or Map Box. You will have to get the API key and put it here. Then click on continue and the selling you can enable the new seller to start selling once they register and you can set commission for yourself so you can set commission on a flat price or a percentage and in this case this is 10 percent and you can also change the order status so winter can change the order status they can mark the order completed or something but we don't want this because admin will uh, manually approve the orders so let's click on continue and this is Vedra, so here you can enable the payment method like PayPal, Bank Transfer and Stripe. This is the maximum withdrawal limit. Then order status to withdraw. So once the order is completed, then the vendor will be able to withdraw. So let's continue this. This will also recommend you some plugins, but we don't need these. 
and we'll click continue and that's it now we can visit our Dukan dashboard or we can go to more settings and this is the dashboard where you can manage all the orders from the vendors and now let's see how a vendor will see their dashboard so for that let's open up our website and this is my account page okay so i'll open this in a private window and this is a customer so customer will only enter email and password and if i choose vendor then they will have to fill up all these details in order to be a vendor so they will write first name last name shop name shop url like the domain name and their shop a phone number and then we'll click on register so let me quickly register one vendor here just to show you and as soon as i put a name for the shop url this will tell me that this is available or not because this will be unique throughout the website okay the password is weak so and we'll click register and welcome to marketplace thank you for choosing the marketplace for our online store this this quick setup will help you to set up your store so for that let's click on let's go or and after registration a vendor will see this so let's click on let's go and here they can set up their store products street and their zip code so this is basically the address the state and so on let's skip this one now and then they can also fill up their paypal email to get the payments so let's skip this also and your store is ready so let's go to dashboard and this is now the vendor dashboard you can see dashboard here we can access products and no products but we can add a new one so click on add new here we can upload an image the product name price category tags and so on let's close this one now and here a vendor can manage product orders so there is no order for now withdraw here they can withdraw the amount and in the setting they can set up their store and their payments and from here they can visit their store their account and can log out so let's quickly add a product I'll click add new and uh, we'll write a product name I am copying this from the demo website here this is the price and we will just write these this is the description of the product for the category we will choose men and we'll choose ok let's choose this and let's also upload an image so I'll use this image and for the price I'll write 500 and if you want to put some discount you can do that you can also add more images and also write tags but let's clear this for now and let's close this and now our product has been added now this is pending because the admin will help to approve this product and for that let's log into your admin dashboard and here if i go to products and you can see this is the product which is pending so admin can edit this and you can change its status to published then ok and now if i go back to this dashboard and refresh this you can see the product is online and if i visit this store so this is the vendor one profile this is the name the image the cover image but we don't have uploaded them and this is the product so user can buy this product add this to basket can view this and so on and uh, the rest of the website is here and how to, to customize this website you can customize this from the theme options to make changes to the header part and the footer part and to make changes to the rest of the page you can use elementor page builder where you can edit these things like shop menu, pages menu, elements menu and so on and basically these are the mega menus that you can see here so these menus can be edited by elementor also so this was it for this video and if you want to learn how to customize this theme and how elementor works you can just go to my channel i have lots of videos about wordpress and elementor and woocommerce you will learn how you can customize the theme and how you can get a complete website and don't forget to check the links in the description those are discount links and still if you have any questions about this video you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next